Alright guys, today uh, we're going to be working on the 08-2500 again. Um, as you can see, it came with just the factory old street mirrors. And the other day when I was pulling the uh, flatbed trailer, we got a 20 foot flatbed. I noticed it was kind of hard to see, so I went and got a set of factory tow mirrors. To install. I already installed this one just to see how hard it was and if they were uh, working. And as you can see, it gives you the standard mirror plus the uh, blind spot. And they're telescopic. So, uh, yeah, it uh, seems to be pretty easy so far. They're, like I said, they're factory replacements, so I knew they would fit. But uh, now we'll show you how to do it. Okay, there's a couple things you gotta do. One, you pop off your sail panel. You've already seen me do this in my other video on uh, installing speakers. Two, you pop off this. There's two bolts in behind here. You pop the handle off, which there's just a little uh, pin right there. You pull down and it slides off. That gives you access to that panel, which is one bolt. And you gotta fight with a manual crank. Uh, and then the door panel and the lock. And then the door panel pops off. So let's uh, let's get started. Okay, on the lock, it's simple. You pop the uh, pop the little clip out. Slides right up. Sails the same way. You just find a edge you can get hold of, pop the clips out, like that, just have one with those little clips, door handle, you come under here, you just pop the pit, slides off. The window crank's a little more difficult. Like that. <clears throat> See what you have is this clip. Normally it doesn't come off, but it is, uh, So now, we just pop that off. That exposes those two screws. And pop these off. That exposes that screw. So I'll get those out and uh... Alright, so we got the door panel off. And we'll have to remove that speaker and get a clip that fell through the door out. Um, these newer body styles actually have a cable operated door handle, which I don't want to mess with because it's a pain in the ass. I did that on the other side. So with the door panel removed, that lets you get at those three bolts, which you can't do on the new body style because the door panel comes up to like here, so you can't get to these bottom two. Uh, on the old body style, the classic, um... These are all exposed just by pulling the sail panel off. Again, I don't know why they did that, but I'm sure they had their reasons. So, uh, I'm going to pull this off. Go ahead and get my clip out so I don't forget it. And I'll get the mirror mounted and we'll be done. Alright, I got my clip out. Now I'm going to pull these uh, three nuts off. And there's a clip up here that locks the uh, mirror in. It's a bit of a pain. Just kind of pop it out. And the mirror comes off. Just like it. This is the new guy.
comes, you know, with the foam backing already on it. So, let me slip this through here. Sorry, I'm going to have to get in your way here. Just like that. Get the nut started. I don't guess it really matters. I always do the top one first. Once they're started, I'll come back. Take your pad and stuff it back in here. Put the clip back on your door. Thing up. Just pop all your clips back in. Just a uh, process of reversal. Panels back on. It's got a pattern you gotta line up. Again, all this stuff goes in one way. It's kind of tough to screw it up. Okay. The door handle just pops back on. So you're to click. Okay. Here's a good tip for you. Do you see how this thing's tapered? It's got a ledge on it. Always put that in toward the door because if you put it this way, it makes it hard to get to that clip. If you would ever have to take it. Fuck it. And the last piece to go back on, the sail. And it just sits on here, pops back on, and then, I'm sorry I lied, actually the last piece to go back on is the door lock. So you stick it in there, like that, push the clip in, 